welcome back to the Max Mundo Kitchen. Uh, today's recipe is something that I think most countries around the world know, especially because it's a very um, a very famous breakfast staple, and it's the recipe for hot cakes or pancakes, all different in different countries. Um, these are fully homemade, and I think what the thing is, many countries have nice, very nice boxed versions that it's very simple. You quickly can make them. But not, that's not the case for everywhere, especially here in Europe. You really have a hard time finding all these pre-made things. Everything is made from scratch, which of course is healthier and nicer. Uh, the recipe I'm sharing is a really good recipe. I'm sure you guys are going to love it. And what makes it extra special, so just stay on the channel, is the sauce I'm going to show you to make. The sweet sauce that's going to go over your pancakes. It's really, it's finger licking good. It's not a Kentucky thing, but it's a very sweet and delicious um, sauce. So I hope you guys enjoy it. The ingredients you need to make your super yummy homemade pancakes are 280 grams of all-purpose flour, the equivalent is 2 cups 60 grams of granulated white sugar, the equivalent is a quarter of a cup 13 grams of baking powder, the equivalent is 4 teaspoons 3 grams of salt, the equivalent is half a teaspoon 1.6 grams of baking soda, the equivalent is 1 quarter of a teaspoon 60 grams of butter, the equivalent is a quarter of a cup. 15 milliliters of vanilla extract, if you find Mexican one, it's even yummier. And that would be one tablespoon. Two eggs. 400 milliliters of milk, the equivalent is one cup and three quarters. And you're going to need butter to grease your pan or griddle. That's, uh, I can't give you an exact amount. For your pancake toppings, for the sweet sauce that I'm going to share, you need four tablespoons of plain yogurt or natural yogurt, uh, four tablespoons of maple syrup, four tablespoons of strawberry jam, and to decorate you're going to need strawberries, blueberries, granola, and confectioner sugar. Okay, so before we get started, uh, the butter I ask in the recipe for the batter, that one you need to melt it. So just pop it in your microwave or in a little saucepan, melt it, and leave it aside. We're not going to be using it right now straight, straight away. So like that, it cools down a little bit and it's not super hot when we pour it in all the rest of the ingredients. Uh, there's kind of three options you can go at making this. The first one, which is the one I'm using, is you just need a bowl and a whisk, a hand whisk. And then that's how you can mix all the ingredients. Another option is using your hand mixer or your stand mixer. And the one I use a lot when I'm in a rush is my um, blender. I just dump all the ingredients in there and press uh, the blending and it just gets really smooth and really quick in there. And I even use the same blender to just um, pour the batter on the griddle or the pan. I don't really measure. That's for the days that I'm in a super rush that I just am craving pancakes and don't care if some are bigger or smaller. Um, in this case, I'll be using the bowl and the hand whisk. And what you do is basically it's, it's super easy. You have to put all your dry ingredients first in the bowl. So we're going to put our flour, our sugar, our um, baking powder, our baking soda, and our salt in here. And we're going to quickly mix it with the whisk. Then we just make a little kind of opening in the center of volcano <laughs> in there. And we're going to add the wet ingredients. So we add our melted butter, our vanilla extract, our eggs, I quickly whisk them and I'm going to pour them in there, and the milk. And then that's, that's basically it. All you have to do is with the whisk again, mix all your ingredients until there's no lumps and it's nice and smooth. You set that aside and now comes the, the baking or the cooking part. So I'm going to be using a crepe pan. You can use any kind of pan you have at home, a griddle. You're going to heat it up so it gets quite hot, so a medium high heat. Once you know your pan is very hot, you can lower it to a medium low because pancakes have to be cooked uh, slowly. If it's too hot, they just burn, they don't cook evenly, and they don't look nice. So that's very important to cook them at a low temperature. What you're basically going to do is either with a ladle or a measuring cup, you're going to try to pour the same amount each time onto your pan so that you're, you have uh, the same amount of batter each time and the pancakes all look even. And how do you know when your pancake is ready? So you pour your pancake onto a greased pan. We're going, that's what the butter I was asking for is for. Put very, very little. You hardly need anything. If it's nonstick, it's okay. Still add butter. It's, it tastes nice and it's better to be safe than sorry. You don't want the pancakes to stick. So you slightly grease, you add your batter, 
And um, what you're going to see is it starts bubbling up slowly because it's low heat. It's going to be filled with a lot of little bubbles on the surface. That means it's cooking. Once it's um, more or less bubbled, not fully, you're going to flip it over. And then you just wait for the underside to get slightly golden. It's very simple, but you really have to be patient and not do it with high heat. You don't want the center of your pancakes to be raw or to be stiff or to be burned. You really want to cook them evenly. So just remember to do it with a medium low heat so that it gets really nice and it's perfect. And they are going to be the best pancakes you've had. Okay, so now it's the sweet syrup or sweet sauce time. It's super easy to make. You just need the three ingredients that I asked in the recipe box for um, the sauce, which would be the plain or natural yogurt, the maple syrup, and your strawberry jam. And all you have to do is you scoop out four tablespoons of each and you put them in a bowl. And with a hand whisk, you're just going to mix them all until you have a nice, uh, well-mixed sauce. You may have a few lumps from the strawberry jam. That's a bit harder to, to get it to smoothen out, especially if it's a very chunky one. But that's okay. It's still going to taste super yummy. Okay, so we are done. I'm not going to eat this entire plate, even though I would love to. <laughs> it's super yummy. But I just wanted to show you how it looks once it's decorated. I forgot to put the granola that I suggested. I like sprinkling granola on it. It looks much nicer and tastes much nicer, much healthier. Um, all I did was chop up some fruit and drizzle the sauce and a bit of confectioner sugar. Super easy, nothing spectacular. Um, two quick things. If you're very perfectionist and you want your pancakes to have exactly the same size and shape, you can use a mold. For example, I have these teeny tiny cake spring form molds and all I did was take the bottom off, I put them in the pan and like this your batter will just stay in here and you automatically have really round uh, pancakes for you free. If you don't have these and you don't want to spend in anything extra, just make the traditional pancakes where you drop the batter on your pan and the size and shape will more or less be the same if you use the same um, amount of batter and you don't go all crazy splattering all over if you just put it on the same spot. So either way, you'll, you'll have yummy pancakes. Uh, the other thing is the amount of eggs. The more eggs you put, the less fluffy your pancakes are. So if you want really super fluffy pancakes, instead of using two eggs, just use one. Um, and if you don't mind the extra eggs, I honestly love having lots of eggs in the recipe. My mom would practically put a dozen of eggs in the, in the batter. She loved using a lot of eggs in a lot of her cooking and they were always really good. I only put two, but like I said, you can vary that from one to two depending on how fluffy you want your pancakes. And well, basically that's it. I'm pretty sure you're gonna love the recipe, especially the sauce. It is so yummy on the pancakes. It really is something, I, I promise you'll love it. And I'll hope to see you guys in the next video.